Hi, my name is Bill Barney. I'm with Community Dish in Pahrump, Nevada. I'm an SBCA licensed installer, that's Satellite Broadcast Communications Association, and I'd like to help you with your satellite installation. This is the meter I'm going to be using on my job. Um, when you're doing a 1000 dish, it's important that you use a good meter, uh, something that can see all three signals independently, because we're going to have to balance those signals out. This is a meter made by Applied Instruments, made here in the United States. It's very well built. It's a very, very good meter. It gives me the ability to see the signal from each individual orbital location and then to balance those signals out so I don't have any less signal or more signal on any one satellite than I absolutely need. This is an expensive meter. Um, it's not something the do-it-yourselfer will probably want to purchase unless they absolutely have to have it. This meter has a built-in battery. I'm telling it what, what kind of dish I'm using. Any switches, which there aren't any. And turn it on. Okay, let's go down and check. Again, that meter it can give us the signal strength in multiple orbital locations. Big advantage over the less expensive meters. So we can see that LNB1, which is the 119 orbital location, now has a signal strength of 52. That's good. And then let's set it for LNB2 on 110. And I like to do transponder 4. We got a little bit of signal there. There's transponder 4. 16 is too low. So we're going to have to pick that up. So we're going to back up to the, up, up to the dish. And we're going to raise that number up to see if we can't get it in the 30s at minimum. Let's try to get signal on that meter. Okay, we want two bars to be on the meter. One, the left bar is the noise bar. It tells us if there's noise coming in off the dish. The right bar is the signal bar um, that actually doesn't appear unless we're on the proper satellite. We want the signal bar peaked as high as we can peak it on the meter. 